and welcome to Soul Symbols. My name is Shelley. I'm a writer, an astrologer, and a card reader, and I'd like to welcome you to my channel. Uh, today is um, is a reading that I hold twice, uh, that I hold once a week. I'm sorry, the weekly energy card reading. Um, I hold it every Saturday, and what it is is I, the you, the viewer, would choose a one deck of cards. Normally, it's tarot cards. And after you choose your deck, we will go ahead and kind of pull the energies for the next seven days. It does not have to be the week of December 28th, 2019 in order for it to resonate. Um, I do believe that anytime you come across a reading, if you're attracted to it, then it, there might be messages that contained in that reading that are very special for you at this time. So it is kind of universal in that way, but you could also watch the reading just for the next seven days from today as well. So it's going to be from um, Saturday, December 28th, 2019 to um, Saturday, I believe it's January 3rd, 2020. So this is going to span uh, New Year's Day. And, um, and at any time, if you want to go straight to your reading, the timestamps are in the description box below, as are all the names of the authors of the decks. Now, today I have a very special theme. Today is actually National Playing Card Day. So, traditionally I would have three different tarot decks, but today we're going to do something different. Uh, playing cards are interesting because you can read a, a deck of playing cards the same way that you would read um, the Minor Arcana in, um, in tarot. Um, the Jacks act like Knights, uh, the um, Kings and Queens, and then the 1 through 10. Now, I, I do keep my jokers in the deck, which kind of act like the fool. It's almost like the one major arcana that remains in the deck if you keep them in. Now, there is another style of reading cards with playing cards. It's called Lenormand. Um, I am not w very well versed in that. I am looking to learn that, um, that style of reading cards. But today, I'm just going to read them as if they were re resonating to the major arcana of tarot. And I actually have three different decks. Uh, the first deck is I have Starbucks playing cards. So two of the decks are coffee and one of them is kind of celestial. So the first one is a Starbucks deck, which is uh, coffee. All the, all the kings and queens and everybody has coffee in their hand. It's pretty neat. So that's deck number one. Deck number two is called the Stargazer, which is all very, it's very neat. It's like, um, you know, it's, it's a dark background with very like purplish, blue kind of swirls and I really like that and then the last deck is the what is it called it's called oh shoot house blend it's called house blend I'm sorry it's a it's a it's a set by bicycle cards and they are all um and it's neat it's it's got pretty um in that deck the the red is kind of they're they're both kind of co coffee colored but um, what I will do is after you choose your deck, I will go ahead and pull a spread for your week and see what kind of energies we're looking at for the week. And then I will clarify using the Intuit Oracle by Kimberly Fisher. And um, I'm going to pull one story dice um, from Story Cubes, uh, was Rory's Story Cubes. And again, all of the descriptions are in the description box below. To go ahead and get started, I'm going to pause the video. I do ask that you just choose from your intuition um, wherever you're being guided or wherever you feel uh, pulled. Uh, you can watch more than one reading or all, all of the readings if you choose. Um, but we just say, you know, take what resonates and leave the rest. And I'll go ahead and let you choose. See you in a minute. Okay, we're back. I am gonna try to keep this a little bit prompt, but um, yeah, I'm sorry. It's been a little bit of a long week. I'm a little worn out, but um, I won't use that as an excuse, but all right. Deck number one, you got the Starbucks uh, coffee, coffee cards. And let's see, what kind of week are you gonna have? Deck number one. Thank you. Oh wow, that came out right away. Deck number one. a little bit more nice thing about this these cards is you can shuffle them just like a regular deck. Yeah, there we go 
deck number two. I'm making note of the cards that are flipping out. Ooh, okay. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get some clarification. What is the clarification? Let me make sure you can see okay. It's the clarification, thank you. Well, that was two right off the bat. Oh, wow, all right. And again, uh, please remember by the middle of the week, you are going to be including New Year's Day. Clarification. Water. All right. So deck number one, um, you've got a pretty interesting week. Again, by the middle of the week, you've got um, you've got uh, the New Year's Day, uh, the the New Year's holiday, uh, the the for tw uh, 2020. Now, uh, by the beginning of the week, um, you are going to be kind of in. Uh, I don't know, you might have to work, but um, by the beginning of the week, you're going to be holding on to something. It could be holding on to your money or holding on to some kind of finance. Uh, but what it is, is you're just basically kind of, you're holding on to something. There's kind of like a, um, kind of just a, a, ten, a tenacity about you. There's going to be some kind of circumstance or maybe even a person that you don't want to let go of. Um, and by the beginning of the week, you're just going to feel like you're really, you know, again, us coming out of Christmas, it might be, you know, might be more financially, you might be kind of minding your budget a little bit closer. But um, by the beginning of the week, you're going to be holding on, um, you're just going to have that, that, you know, um, feeling of, of not wanting to let go. Um, so please, uh, please clarify, I'm just going to get one clarifier, please clarify the four diamonds. Please clarify. Thank you. Yeah, guys. All right. Now a whole splay of cards came out, but the ones that I can see is the two of two of hearts, the five of hearts, and the king of spades. So yeah, this definitely looks like a love relationship. Um, you're being strategic about something. You're 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 not letting go of someone. And you're being very strategic about it. You're you're ready to almost, you're feeling almost a little bit like you're missing someone, and you're not you're not letting go of the situation. Again, you can be a woman and manifesting as the king of spades, but um, what you're doing is you're thinking very heavily about kind of a kind of like the what you what, the. The thing or person that you're holding on to, you're thinking very heavily about. It's almost strategic. You're almost, you're, you, it's, it's occupying your mind. Um, it's very heavily on your mind. And I, I almost think that maybe you're asking somebody out for New Year's or you're thinking about it and you're nervous about it. You're not sure um, how it's going to go. Now, your New Year's Day or the middle of the week actually is going to go very well. You got the you got the Joker, which you know I read as being kind of like the Fool in the Major Arcana. That's a great new beginning. Um, now, of course, this could just mean you know your New Year's Day. It is a, the beginning of a new decade and a you know um, and a new year. So it could just mean that you you feel very hopeful. I have a feeling that your New Year's Day is going to be very joyous. You're going to have a good time, and um, that you're just going to feel like that there's a lot of opportunity ahead of you. Um, by the end of the week, you've got you got the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Hearts, and the Ace of Hearts. So, I definitely get the feeling as if. Um, there's going to be, I'm seeing, I'm seeing new here and new here and here I'm seeing new love. So it's possible that, you know, maybe as the ball drops, you might have someone in mind or someone that you want to kiss, you know, at, at midnight. Um, but you're definitely, you've got your mind on a very prosperous future and you, you kind of, you've got, you've got kind of your mind on that, that you know, that, that future of, you know, home, family, the whole kit and caboodle, but you're feeling like you, that you're a little bit lost, like you have a lot of options right now. Um, either that or, you know, there's, there just seems to be a lot of paths, a lot of ways that you can get to that happy future. 
and you're not quite sure which way to go or, or which way to go, you know, which, which path to choose. But you're definitely feeling like, you know, the, the Ace of Hearts is almost like the Ace of Cups. That can either be a lot of self-worth or it can be kind of a new love with someone else. But I definitely get the feeling as if um, the fact that I saw the two of hearts come out there, I do think that you have your eye on somebody and you're just, you're really, you're kind of deciding, you're, you're really putting a lot of thought um, and especially over the holiday, just, you know, how to, you know, how to kind of proceed with this person. But by the end of the week, you have, you have a really nice new start. And the clarification that we got, the energy for the week is you got bouquet, which is, you know, um, it can be a gift, it can be being creative, or what it can also be reconciliation. So that can be someone, could be someone from your past. And then you got fireworks. And this is where I kind of got, you know, again, it means, it can mean things like, you know, explosive and, you know, more more intimate things, but here I'm kind of reading it as chemistry. So I do think that you're gonna be spending, the fact that you got something that looks like a gift and like a happy time along with like fireworks and the fact that it's New Year's Day right in the middle and um, you know, and you got a joker which is kind of like an ace and then you have an ace of hearts. Maybe you're spending New Year's with somebody that you're really attracted to and um, you're really, you're, you're by the end of the week, you're hoping that that's, you know, you're, you're looking to take that towards the path of, of having a very stable and prosperous future. Now, the dice that you got is you got water. And what's interesting is water means emotion. It kind of means the cups. But here I'm seeing some waves like, um, you know, and here I, I'm really kind of getting the vibe of like surfing the waves or kind of rolling, rolling with it. Um, because again, you know, you do have, you have a lot of thought going into this. You, you're kind of being very, you're tenacious about the way you're doing things, but you do still have the seven of cups in there, which is a little bit of not knowing, you know, where to go. You know, you have a lot of options, but you don't know what to, what to choose. Um, you know that you're going to get your 10 of, your 10 of pentacles, but um, and definitely, you know, with the, the kissing, I just think that I, I really do. I'm, I'm getting this vision um, that it's going to be a real, I think it's going to be a real emotional time and you're just going to be kind of, I think you're going to be riding, surfing the wave of both emotional happiness and um, just excitement, you know, excitement. Um, but I do think that you might have an opportunity to kiss someone at midnight. And if you do, or, and if it's with somebody that you kind of had your eye on, you know, just, you know, if, if they're down for it, if they're ready to do that, then, you know, you're going to have a really, a really fun new year, guys. So, all right. So that's deck number one. We'll go ahead and put your dice. All right. Now we'll go ahead and go into deck number two, which is the Stargazer. This really is a pretty deck. shuffle it. I, I shuffled all these cards pretty well. But I'll do it one more time. Admittedly, these cards do, you know, I mentioned before that there's a difference. Okay, well, I won't even tell you. It's a, it's a little bit, these cards have a little bit of a, of a, a coating to them. So they, they, you can see they flip very easily. Okay, so let's go ahead and see. Deck number two, what is your week? What is your week for New Year's? Okay, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and put those together. And the week for deck number two. Thank you. Clarifiers. What are our clarifiers? Wow! And I'm getting two cards right off the bat. That's awesome. Okay. And let's get a dice. I love these dice. 
Well, that was at the beach. I got some more. I added more to it. It's so great. Got some really fun ones in here. Ooh, all right. All right, deck number two. So, six of swords. Let me see here. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just gonna get, get a perspective here. So in the beginning of the week, you got the Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Now the Six of Swords, why am I drawing a blank? Hang on one second, guys. I'm just gonna check this out one second. Hey guys, so, okay, I just needed a minute to kind of think about that one. But um, the Six of Swords is, in, the, in traditional tarot, the Six of Swords is that the two people on the boat rowing away uh, to calmer waters. And here you have the queen of, uh, queen, queen of Diamonds, which is the Queen of Pentacles. So in the beginning of the week, um, you're going to be, and again, you can be a man watching the reading, reading and, and be manifesting in, the, in, a, in a queen. You know, like you can, you can have a queen's energy, you know. Um, it's, it just means that you're being very nurturing, you're being very, um, you know, in, in your emotions. But in the beginning of the week, you, you're going to be very practical. I have a feeling you're going to, you know, by the beginning of the week, you're just going to have, you're going to be looking at everything in a very practical way. It's going to be very factual and you're, you're really trying to move away from any trouble and into a better place. And that could be in work and that could be on, that could be on a very small scale too. It could be that you just have to, you know, you have to work around the holiday and you just really don't want any drama. So you're, you're, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of just the facts, ma'am, right? Like, okay, let me do what I need to do. Let me, you know, let me keep it quiet and peaceful. But I do definitely feel like this energy, this energy of you being very practical, it's, it's helping you just keep very level. I'm getting a very grounded vibe by the beginning of the week. <clears throat> by the middle of the week, we've got the uh, the Queen of Spades, which is the Queen of Swords. So this, um, I'm honestly see seeing three people. So this could honestly, I can kind of read this one of two ways. This could honestly be, this could be a, a different person. Um, it could be a friend or a sibling. Um, but I see by, by the middle of the week, you're going to be dealing with someone who has a lot to say. Maybe, maybe over the New Year's Day, you, you go out with friends and you, you catch up with somebody and, and you just listen. Because um, there's going to be someone there that's very, she's going to be speaking her mind. And it, 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 it seems like it might be someone who has a lot on her mind. Um, it, you, it could be your friend that's, you know, really emoting to you, talking about everything that's going on in your life, but um, in her life but um, this this could also be you but I'm, I'm definitely getting a vibe I'm getting a vibe like it might be a different person but here you basically have someone um, someone who's very um, verbally glib like someone who's very good they can um, good at expressing themselves with words and um, definitely you know sometimes you you might feel like this person has kind of had 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 um, kind of a rough spell in love. Um, it could be a friend who maybe had just gone through a breakup or, excuse me. <coughs> but um, by the middle of the week, um, you're definitely moving from kind of that practical, okay, let me do what I need to do, excuse me. <coughs> I don't know why I'm so coffee today. Um, and by the middle of the week, you're gonna be more mentally engaged. Either that or you're gonna be around somebody who is very mentally, very vent mentally uh, smart and the middle of the week is definitely around New Year's Day so maybe maybe over over the New Year's Day holiday or New Year's Eve maybe you you kind of at work you're keeping it real practical keeping it real quiet and then you get out to a New Year's Eve party and you just feel like talking maybe you're in a more talkative mood or you're around somebody who is in a real talkative mood but this person is very verbally quick they're they, they're almost witty uh, they are witty and um, they might be telling you about some stuff they might be telling you about stuff going on in their lives stuff going on in their relationships but the the basically you'll be kind of verbally catching up with somebody um, who is very queen like someone who is a, a strong mature woman 
Now, by the end of the week, you got the Jack of Clubs, which is really kind of like the, the Knight of Clubs, which is like the Knight of Wands. So you might be, you might be again, by the end of the week, you might be in contact um, with somebody. Um, again, by the beginning of the week, I think you're going to be in a very practical mood. Uh, by the middle of the week, you're going to be kind of in an energy of either talking a lot or, or you know, also possibly being very, you might be posting some stuff on, um, on social media that gets some attention, some like, you know, good attention. Everyone just thinks that you're the life of the party. Um, and then by the end of the week, you've got, you've got um, kind of a younger male figure. And again, you could be a woman and manifest as the, the Knight of Wands. But by the end of the week, I, f I really get the feeling like you're going to be talking to or dealing with kind of a younger, younger fire person. Uh, it could be a fire sign. It could be Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But by the end of the week, you're going to be communicating with someone. And I, I think it has to do with um, just kind of the adventures by the end of the week. You're going to have somebody who's kind of asking you how your New Year's went and, you know, kind of checking in with you. Now, your two clarifying cards is you got the element of air. And remember how we talked about this? The, the queen of air, you know, intellectual, curious, alert, mental, inventive. Um, so definitely, I, I really kind of get the vibe that this is your energy, maybe kind of like day to, day to night, you know, <laughs> maybe you had to work on Monday and Tuesday, and then when you got out into your New Year's, you just kind of like, okay, let me take the stodgy hat off and let me be all, you know, Miss Socialite. Now, um, the only other side about this too is that sometimes the Queen of Swords can come across as a little cold. So um, if this is a situation where maybe, maybe, you know, you have something going on in your life where you've been trying to move away from a situation or a person and it, you know, you're doing it in a very practical way. You're doing what you got to do, but other people might think that you're being cold. It isn't that you're really being cold. You're just doing what you got to do. But, um, but by the end of the week, you're going to be communicating with um, someone who is kind of a fire person. It would be, a, a, if, it, if we had to describe a person, it would be a younger kind of man energy. And you got the sun, um, which is great. Sun is like the yes card. Um, the one thing in the Lenormand is just like in the tarot, the sun is kind of like having success. It's kind of, kind of getting what you want. And um, it also means about things coming to light. Uh, it kind of means like if, if you had a question about anything or um, with all this mental energy, I really get the feeling and the fact that these are all people. Um, if there's been some kind of situation going on that maybe you didn't have all the facts, somewhere around the holiday, someone's really either going to tell you what's going on or you're going to figure it out. And then you're going to have a discussion, you know, with with these people about you know what's been going on and it's going to be a great load off your back i don't feel like it's going to be a scary conversation i think it's going to bring you a lot of relief like you'll be like oh god that's what's been happening right i thought it was all bad you know but it turns out to be something really good now what what makes me think that this will be information that comes to light besides it being air and sun and you know the queen of swords is that you got the file folder and that's that's kind of like getting the the FBI skinny on someone, right? You know, <laughs> that's kind of like okay, I, I've I've been I've been in the dark. Let me let me pull this person's file, right? So now it could be. I'm really getting a feeling like these are two different people, but it could be that this person's kind of pulling the file on you or you're pulling the file on another person. Or it could be that someone is handing over their file like here, you know, you, you want to know what I've been up to. This is what I've been up to, but you're definitely going to get some kind of information. You're going to get, you're going to get knowledge given to you that you didn't know before. And it's definitely going to be right around, you know, right kind of I really get the feeling because also the wands are action um, so and the fact that this is sun and it's warmth um, I do get the feeling that it'll be towards the end of the week it'll be kind of like Thursday Friday Saturday um, that someone comes forth and tells you something or, or kind of I, I'm getting I keep hearing the word debrief <laughs> which I know sounds crazy it's like okay why would someone sit you down and debrief you but I, I really feel like someone's gonna tell you something you know give you information about something that you've been very curious about 
and you probably have figured it out on your own but then the person just gives you the other half of the file and is like yeah you were right so all right deck number two so that's your week that looks really bright and trust me the sun is such a happy card i mean seriously look at that it's like it's like yes it is it's literally the yes card so i do think you'll also have a very good new year's but um i think the i think the good news i'm getting the feeling like the good news is going to come towards the end of the week all right so deck number three you got the house blend you got the last of the coffee cards <laughs> and let's go ahead and see what's your week going to be like so deck number three what's your week going to be like oh, okay and that kind of popped Number three, what's our week gonna be like? Okay, I shuffled everybody else, so let me go ahead and shuffle them too. Tip number two, what is your week gonna be like? We got another joker. Um, this one was kind of upside down. Let me just see and clarify. Thank you. Your cups. All right. Can you please clarify? Oh, that's sorry. That's way too many cards. got some powerful cards there and let's go ahead and get a clarifier with your dice what is energy of our week okay all right deck number three now the beginning of the week you have the knight of pentacles so definitely um you are either moving really slow towards a goal or someone is moving really close really slow towards you but you kind of have your eye on the prize you um the the knights always they're the doers and they they get where they're going but the knight of um the knight of diamonds which is the knight of pentacles um he really does take his time he's a little bit of a slow poke but um he you know he takes very plodding steps but um, he, he moves slowly and steady towards his goal. So towards the beginning of the week, you're going to feel like things are kind of slow going, but you are going to feel, you're going to know that you're making progress. So that could be in relationships. It can be at work. Um, if you're off for the holiday, you're, gonna, you're just going to basically feel like everything is on track. It, it's going to be a little slower than normal, but you're going to feel like everything's moving along. Now, by the, the middle of the week, you got the Three of Diamonds, which is the Three of Pentacles. And actually, that's a very, that's a very interesting card because again, this is, this is New Year's Day. It's New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, um, 2020. And um, you're gonna have a, a real feeling of cooperation. Um, I have a feeling that your New Year's isn't gonna be, I'm getting a real strong vibe that your New Year's isn't gonna be a traditional New Year's. Um, it'll feel like it, you know, but it isn't, I'm not getting a real party vibe. I'm almost as get, getting the vibe and to have this much pentacles, it's almost like you, you know how some people just like having the quiet of the day, like they don't like to go to parties, they'd rather stay at home and use the time to work on their projects or, you know, maybe you have a day job and then you have something that you like to do on your weekends and the moment that the holiday comes around, you're like, oh, yay, you know, some quiet. I can get back to my, my tinkering, get back to my work. But here, I'm definitely seeing that whatever you're doing, and it could be a, it could be an entrepreneurial project. It could be, you know, maybe you're starting up a business or something like that. But I have a feeling you're going to be enlisting other people. So again, you know, this is kind of, this is like a working collaboration between people and it, it does speak a lot about artisanship so you know you could be working on a project with other people either that or it could be as simple as you you know maybe maybe you're playing a board game you know maybe you say okay it's new year's eve let's let's play you know dungeons and dragons or let's play board games all night you know let's be mon play monopoly 
but um, I'm definitely getting this vibe like you're you're using the time productively and you're doing something that you're passionate about and I have I see that you're not alone you're gonna you're gonna be in the company of friends or or uh, colleagues who are as passionate about what you are passionate about again if you all like playing the same game maybe you're gaming maybe you're playing um, you know uh, computer games and that's how you want to ring the new year in you know maybe you're online so that's that's entirely possible i'm not seeing any swords which usually indicates electronics but you know three of pentacles definitely um it's people working together to the same productive end um now by the end of the week you're gonna feel like um now this is where it takes a little bit of a turn by the end of the week you've got the joker but you got the joker upside down which is kind of like the fool upside down and that would kind of mean like a, a almost like a false start and not in a bad way it doesn't mean that it's all of this uh, I, I just get this feeling like over the holiday or over the middle of the week you you get this grand idea and you start you you start working on something and you bring other people into your vision but by the end of the week it's almost like you wake up the next morning and you think ah you know last night I wanted to you know, maybe maybe I did have too much champagne and I was telling all my friends, oh, okay, I want to be the CEO of this and I want to start this new company. And then the next morning you're just like, oh my God, what was I spouting last night, right? You know, what was I talking about? And you're just kind of feeling like, you know, maybe that wasn't as productive a, a, an idea as you thought it was. And now the eight of hearts is the eight of cups and that's kind of walking away from something. So, um, you know it it can also be that um you know the the knights are also very individual they kind of you know they kind of work a little bit on their own so maybe by the middle of the week you know you you went out to some kind of thing with your friends but you know by the weekend you were just kind of saying ah eh, you know i don't want to do that anymore it's it's basically you kind of walking away from the idea and it could be an imp now the the one thing is that pentacles are not really pentacles are very stable ideas they're not like something that you get on a whim if these were wands or swords i would think oh, okay yes i had this grand idea five minutes ago and now it's yeah the that that water has passed you know then i'm done that idea is gone you know no longer on the forefront of my mind but I really just kind of get the feeling as if, um, you know, I'm, I'm also kind of getting a vibe as if maybe by the beginning of the week, you know that you have to work over the holiday and you're kind of like, yes, you know, dedicated to it. Okay, sure, I'll work. And then you actually do the work and then you start getting a little worn out. And by the end of the week, you're kind of like, okay, do I really want to do this? Is this you know you're kind of feeling like you want to walk away from something and um you know it's it's almost like you it's almost as if you learned something through this experience you you started a collaboration with someone and then the day you know by the end of the week you're starting to second guess it and you're starting to feel like you might want to walk away like okay maybe this endeavor isn't what i want it to be now the other thing is that um it might be a feeling that this might be just too much work. Um, that's possible too. Um, because now let me go ahead and get into your Oracle cards. I know this one's a little bit of a weirder, um, a different, but you got snake, which is deception, jealousy, betrayal, and backstab. So please don't be afraid. We read them all together. So, and I'm, I'm not really here. We'll get into that in a minute, but um, you got bear which can be it can be a ceo it can be a boss it can be a mom and then you got road and you got crossroads and journey um so you see it's like a fork in the road now three of pentacles definitely at the the fact that it's a three can mean that there's a three-part situation here you could be one of the persons collaborating it can be um it can be a little bit of a love triangle. Again, normally you see that with like the Three of Cups or maybe even the Three of Wands. The Three of Pentacles definitely takes on a lot more of a financial vibe. Um, and maybe you feel like you've been working really steadily towards something. And then over the holiday, you just kind of get, you know, you come into collaboration with two other people 
and then by the by the weekend you're just kind of feeling you might be feeling a little backstabbed and maybe a little betrayed maybe two of the other partners kind of have a different idea or they want to take this project in a different direction than what you would want and it's making you feel like it's a false start or you're making it feel like okay this isn't this isn't what i signed up for and like you like you want out and um you know one of them might be like a ceo or a boss um the bear definitely can mean strength now normally usually when I see the bear I kind of think mama bear so it could be it could be a woman that's your boss but I definitely feel as if you know and it could be the day before the holiday but somewhere in the middle of the week it could be more like Thursday if you work around the holiday you're definitely just going to kind of feel like you might get some news about something at work or in in a collaboration with other people that you have on a project that's important to you that there's some kind of decision coming down the pike and you might feel like you know maybe maybe they chose someone else instead of you for a position or maybe they're just taking the project it's your project and someone is taking it in a direction that's different than what you would want and it's it's making you feel like there's this choice ahead and it's kind of making you feel like you might want to walk away but now the one thing i do want to caution is that the joker or the fool is still the fool and if you if you watch my video on how to tarot the fool is is a very good card even when it's in the reverse but what it's telling me here is that it it's almost telling me that it's you you would feel like a fool if you stayed like if you stayed you would feel like a fool um, but the fact that it's pentacles and that it's three and that, you know, you've got kind of a boss and what could be a, a either competition or jealousy, I'm, I'm really getting the feeling as if, you know, maybe you, you feel like, you know, what you're doing isn't what you really signed up for. Now, the other side of this here is the dice that you got was the man digging. <laughs> and... Um, and again, he looks very happy, but the first thing that I thought when I saw this was digging, digging your own hole. <laughs> um, so again, um, maybe you do just, you. Uh, this might be a situation where you do not want to dig the hole any deeper. Um, either that or again, the fact that he looks so happy in his expression, it's like if you're, if you're gonna do the work of, of digging a hole, you know, you want it to kind of be your hole and done your way. Um, but I do, I, I, I'm hearing digging your own hole as if, as if you're getting in deeper with something that you maybe might want to reconsider or at least think about because it, it might not be, you know, the, the, the opportunity that you thought it was. But this is just a weekly energy and, and um, it, it is still positive. Again, the, the Fool is not a bad card, even when it's in reverse. It just, it, it's, it's telling me more that you feel like you're being foolish or you feel like you're digging your own hole. Um, but there is definitely a choice here um, and the choice is yours. So definitely let that empower you. And honestly, the, ba the bear also means strength. It means that you have, a, you have clout in this situation. So the choice is yours. So I do also want to stress that the choice is yours. Nothing can happen to you or, you know, in, in, your, in your work or, or relationship life that you, don't, that you don't have the ultimate say in. All right, guys. But yeah, that's interesting. Um, honestly, out of the three decks, you, your, your New Year's looks pretty interesting. It's almost as if you're going to be talking shop um, on the day. So I was curious about that. But I know a lot of sole proprietorships, you know, a lot of people who, who work for themselves, they, they take a holiday to, to catch up on things. So yeah, that's very entrepreneurial of you. But I hope that that was informative and definitely if, if if none of the messages resonate, it might just be that there's no messages for you for this week and that is perfectly okay. Um, I hope that you will tune in next week and see if maybe there's, there's some um, good messages for you there. I will be back on Tuesday for the How to Tarot Tuesday. And I'm actually, I'm almost nervous about this one because it's a very powerful one. Um, it's one of the most feared cards in the deck, but it's one of the most profound ones. And I always just get chills when I think about talking about it, but we're going to how to tarot on death. 
and it is going to be amazing. So I hope you can join me on that. And it's going to be first thing Tuesday. And if not, I hope to see you in the next video. If you like my content here, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.